And good evening and welcome back as we get ready to say goodbye to the weekend. Temperature is looking pretty good. A little breeze right there on shore coming from the ocean toward the land in Lompoc. But then look what happens. The winds are turning more offshore as you head farther south into Southern California. So once you get below the San Ynez range, you can see that big bump in temperatures right there from Santa Barbara down through Ventura. And that's all because the winds are beginning to turn out of a Santa Ana direction. It's a little late in the season to get that, but it can happen. Watches and warnings for those northerly winds that we had yesterday all across Santa Barbara and Ventura have been more or less dismissed throughout today. As we did see the winds a little gusty at times, you may even get a breeze still along the San Inez range, especially in Montecito and down through Carpinteria right about from about 6 o'clock to about 10 o'clock tonight. There is a chance of that offshore wind still kicking up with a few gusts, but we should not be seeing anything above advisory level, which is about 20 to 30 miles an hour. So the good news is things are quieting down wind-wise. Big area of high pressure parked itself right over our area, and as it intensifies and expands, it really keeps all the Pacific moisture very active storm track, even though it's um, seeming, seemingly so nice over our area, there's still quite a bit of storm activity out in the Pacific Ocean. You can see a couple uh, double-barreled low-pressure systems beginning to march their way toward us. They may affect us later in the forecast period. The tail end might deepen our marine layer by about Thursday and Friday, but for the meantime, things are looking absolutely beautiful as we sort of put the map into motion and sort of tighten it up across California. Warming, breezy winds, nothing at advisory level. Ventura may see one or two advisories over the next day or so as we see the Santa Ana kicking into gear. But for the most part, the wind, just enough to give us that offshore effect and keeping us very warm across the area. Now, overnight temperatures where the winds aren't blowing, low to mid 40s, other areas where the winds are kicking up, you might get into the mid 50s at best for your overnight lows. Tomorrow's highs, though, look at that, back into the 70s, and we're going to start kicking it into the 80s if that Santa Ana starts to push across the area. Surf out there is building out of the northwest, and there's some wind swell energy as well. And there's your Santa Barbara forecast. Look at that, a couple of 80s, and then ever so slowly cooling back into the low 70s by Thursday and Friday. A deeper marine layer is expected, and that's because the tail end of one of those systems might bring a slight chance of a sprinkle or two by Thursday and Friday going into the weekend. But for the most part, though, look at that forecast. You really just can't complain as we wrap things up on Ventura. Put a Santa Ana win there for tomorrow, and that means warm conditions right through about Wednesday before we back off a little bit, maybe just a deeper marine layer as we head towards the second half of the work week and early next weekend. And then beyond that, we warm again. It was so beautiful today. It was so windy yesterday towards the tail end, and, and it was the, so nice. And the cruise today. ship's out there, but everybody's grabbing uh, real estate guides, right? Yeah, to come back. Maybe <laughs> until they see the actual prices. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Sean. Stormtroopers and hobbits have been spotted in Dubai these past few days. Not the normal tourists for the desert holiday destination, but the 